Welcome to Electron Line, and now we're going to talk about different angle names. Sure enough, there's different types of angles, so in geometry we have different names for each one of those types. The first type you'll run into is what we call the right angle. An angle that has an angle measure of 90 degrees is called a right angle. We indicate that either by drawing a little symbol like this, which indicates a 90 degree angle, or we simply write 90 degrees. So that's what's called a right angle. The angle measure is equal to 90 degrees. An acute angle is where the angle measure is less than 90 degrees. So anywhere between 0 and 90 would be considered an acute angle. So here we have an, an example of 40 degrees, less than 90 degrees. We call that an acute angle. I guess I should kind of put a line underneath that. What about an angle that has a measure? Whoa, I stepped on the flag again, and there goes the eagle. There, better? Okay, eagle is back up. All right. So what about an angle that has a measure of greater than 90 degrees, for example, 115 degrees? Those angles are called obtuse angles. So the measure is greater than 90 degrees. All right, now what if we have two angles that are side by side? In other words, they share a common ray and they both add up to 90 degrees. So we have a 25 degree angle called angle one, angle two is a 65 degree angle. When we add them together, that adds up to 90 degrees. Those are called complementary angles. So anytime two angles add up to 90 degrees, they're called complementary angles. And of course, they must share a common side. Sometimes we have a situation where we have two angles and together they add up to 180 degrees. So here we have Angle 1 with a measure of 70 degrees, angle 2 with a measure of 110 degrees. Also notice that I have a single arc for angle 1 and a double arc for angle 2. We quite often when we have two angles or more than one angle, we mark them by having a single arc, a double arc, a triple arc, a quadruple arc to indicate that they have different measures. So here we have angle 1 and angle 2 together will add up to 180 degrees, so those are called supplementary angles. And finally, we have the bisector. A bisector is a ray from B to X that divides the existing angle ABC into two equivalent angles that have the exact same measure. For example, angle ABX right here and angle CBX right here. They're the exact same measure. That's how we indicate that. And so therefore, we can say that those two angles are congruent. And this is the symbol that we mean that we use to indicate that those two angles are congruent. If they're the same measure, then BX is a ray that is called then the bisector. So in summary, the different names that we use for angles is we have the right angle where the angle is 90 degrees, we have an acute angle where the angle is less than 90 degrees, we have an obtuse angle where the angle is greater than 90 degrees, and then if we have the case we have two angles that share a common side and they both add up to 90 degrees, 25 plus 65 is 90, then those are considered complementary angles. If we have two angles like this where they they indicate where, like this, where they add up to 180 degrees, then they're called supplementary angles. And finally, if we have a ray that divides an angle into two equivalent angles that are each exactly half the size of the original angle in measure, then that, call, that is called a bisector. And that's the naming convention we use for angles in geometry.